Alright, um, this is our science fair project. That is Saadi and um, I'm Vishal. Our project is basically about how the solar cell responds to the change in wavelength from its source. So our question is that if the wavelength of the light source on the solar cell is increased, then it will cause a lower response in voltage compared to having the wavelength decreased because the lower the wavelength, the higher the frequency, creating a higher voltage reading. The, the purpose for this is the purpose for our project is because we're doing this project because there's a huge energy crisis that's currently taking place in this world today and we need to find a new source of energy using using solar cells as an alter, alter, alternative method for energy is widely popular because the energy source the sun is very abundant is a, a lot is abundant the only problem is that solar cells cannot convert all the light light it receives into voltage so, if we get the better understanding on the spectral response of the solar cell, we could assist in modifying and improving the designs of our solar panels. The, our, background, our background information that we already know is um, if the lower the wavelength, the higher the frequency, causing a higher voltage, the higher the frequency, causing a higher voltage reading. From the spectral response. All right, and these are, this is our, these are materials. This is a voltage, um, voltage, it's like the voltmeter. It, it reads the voltage created from the light, the solar panels inside here. You can see. Yeah, and this is a hole to make sure no other light comes aside. And right now we have a yellow light bulb in. And these are also two other light bulbs we use, a green light bulb and a red light bulb. And they all have different wavelengths. And so far the yellow, the yellow light bulb has, has, a higher, has a lower wavelength than the red one. And the green light bulb has the lowest wavelength out of, of them all. Independent. Yeah. And so the independent variable is the type of light or the wavelength that is, sh uh, that is thrown upon the, the solar cell. You can't really see well because the light's not in. And the dependent variable is the voltage response that is read by the voltmeter. And is this a trial? Oh, and this is the um, ocean optics spectral response. It reads the wavelength. This is a fiber optic, uh, optic cable. And if you put it under the light source, you, you, it reads the wavelength created. And we'll get to that in a second. So this is, here's a sample. Here's a trial. It's down. Stop this in. Close this real fast. And then we put this a little blanket over the light to make sure no other light comes inside and disrupts the reading because uh, th our solar panel is very sensitive and really read any light that shine upon it. So right now there's nothing, zero, zero. And then as, as we turn it on, we see a voltage response of 13 point, roughly around 13.28 volts. And this is this, these are all from 60 watt light bulbs. So now we turn it off, and we did this three times with each light bulb, and then to see the wavelength to make sure our hypothesis is correct, we would shine. We would turn this on and put this here, and then um here hold on. And as you can see, the yellow light. It's supposed to be between 570 and 590 nanometers, and since since other lights being shine upon, that's why it's so saturated looking. But if I try to adjust it just correctly, you can see that it's the good amount is between 590 and um, 570. So yeah, and then our conclusion. Uh, this actually not a conclusion first. It's a we have to show our method and data. After that was our method. So we charted it out the average for each color. We of three trials. Three trials for each, and then we averaged it out. So um, sorry, can you pull that up? Yeah. This is our graph. So as you can see, the green graph has shows the highest solar response in uh, volts. Yeah, because the green has the lowest um, 
lowest wavelength of them all, as you can see in this chart. See? Okay, so in conclusion, our hypothesis is correct in which that if the wavelength of the light source is on the solar cell it increases, the uh, it will cause a lower response in voltage compared to having the wavelength decrease. This is due to the spectral response. Spectral response of the light. Wait, this is due to the uh, spectral response, and uh, because the lower the wavelength, the higher the frequency, creating a higher voltage reading. Some problems that occurred were that, um, like, as you can see, this hole over here, like, it let in, like, a very little amount of light. Yeah, so that, like, s caused a little bit of error in our, in our readings, even though we uh, had this to cover it. It still showed, like, point zero five or something like that. And so, yeah, next time we're we'll having to, like, make sure there's no extra light filtering in. Yeah. And, uh, thank you. That is our science for video.